Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back and it's a beautiful stormy day here. And I just watched Child's Play. <laughs> Of course, I'm talking about the new Child's Play. Child's Play 2019, the Child's Play remake, whatever you want to call it. There's been a lot of talk about this one, obviously since it has just been released. And well, here are my thoughts. It's easy to get caught up in the pessimism and the negativity. I mean, who really wants a reboot when they're still continuing the original series? I, for one, am looking forward to seeing how they continue the story after Cult of Chucky. But while we wait for that, we have the remake. Now, let me cut to the chase. I absolutely loved it. Sure, I did not have high expectations for this, but whatever expectations I did have were completely and totally surpassed. It's different from the original, that's for certain, but it had to be. No one wants a shot-for-shot -shot remake. I mean, look how the Psycho remake turned out. The Child's Play remake is definitely different enough, with enough of the same. I've heard a lot of people say, even before they saw this movie, that this probably shouldn't have been a remake, and they should have titled it something else and had it be its own original story. But if that were the case, I'm sure those same people would be claiming that it ripped off Child's Play. It's sort of a double-edged sword, and some people will just never be satisfied. The fact is, whether we wanted a remake or not, we got one. And I'm happy we did. Because, as I said, I loved it. Like with all of my other reviews, I promise that I will not spoil any major plot details. I will also discuss it assuming you've seen the original Child's Play. Because if you're a horror fan, I mean, come on. You must have. In this remake, Andy is quite a bit older. 13 years old, in fact. His mother, played by Aubrey Plaza, brings him home a buddy doll the latest trend in toys. It's meant to be sort of a joke gift, since Andy is too old for a doll. Buddy dolls have the capability of linking up with other electronics in the house, sort of like Alexa or Google Home. And, as you know, something goes horribly wrong. If you've seen any of the trailers or read anything at all about this remake, then you know that voodoo does not play a role. Unlike the original Child's Play, there is no Charles Lee Ray, no Supernatural, it's just plain AI horror. And it works. I can assure you I did not think it would, but it does. I won't tell you how it happens, just watch the movie to see for yourself. In the original Child's Play, Charles Lee Ray is a serial killer who used voodoo to take the body of a doll when he was dying in his own body. Which is funny to say out loud because so many people have been very judgmental about this remake. When you actually think about the original Child's Play, how silly did that synopsis sound? This one is more about technological terror. And in this one, Andy is not the target victim of Chucky. It's quite the contrary, in fact. Chucky only goes after those who harm Andy or hinder his friendship with Chucky. Chucky literally wants to be his friend till the end. Andy's mom, Karen, who I already mentioned is played by Aubrey Plaza, is very young. She mentions that Andy was born when she was 16 years old. Andy's father is no longer around, and we are never told why. But Karen does have a boyfriend, and Andy isn't fond of him. As I'm sure you can imagine, this is an important detail. The character of Mike Norris also returns in this remake. He is also a cop who visits his mother every week, in the same apartment building where Andy and Karen live, and now Chucky. There are also a few kids living in the building that befriend Andy, and they are main characters themselves. Those added characters sort of create a goosebumps or slight Stranger Things feel. Teenagers in turmoil. In fact, in certain scenes, it actually feels like this movie might be kid-friendly. Until the killing begins, because the death scenes are very gory. And pretty unique, I might add. The gore, along with the language, definitely earned Child's Play an R rating. 
The acting is decent all around, which brings me to probably my biggest point, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill, as always, was incredible. His voice acting was fantastic. The perfect pick for this movie. If it couldn't be Brad Dourif, Mark Hamill was the man to take over. As a matter of fact, I'm glad Brad didn't return to do the voice, because this is a remake. And it's just sort of silly to me to have the original be in the remake. I mean, isn't that the point of a remake? And trust me, that's not to take anything away from Brad Dourif. He is Chucky. The original Chucky. But Mark Hamill is the remake Chucky. And he absolutely owns it. There is a sort of innocence to Chucky in this remake, and Mark Hamill definitely creates that. I genuinely felt bad for Chucky in a few scenes. Mark Hamill somehow gave heart to an AI version of a killer doll. Now that's talent. All he is really trying to do is please Andy. He literally wants to be best friends. He keeps asking Andy in a very innocent way, are we having fun now? Because that's the thing. He doesn't know. He watches Andy and tries to pay attention to things that make him smile. In one scene, Andy and his friends are watching The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. And they're laughing and having a good time. Chucky watches as Leatherface and Chop Top brutally murder people on screen. And Andy and his friends react by laughing. So Chucky sets out to make Andy smile even more. I don't want to give any more specifics away, but I will say the final scene in the store is so much fun. Chucky has a special ability in this movie, which he does not have in the original film, that really adds to the climax of this one. And how about that buddy bear? So cool. There is also a scene featuring a certain gift, which is so awesome. Watch the movie. You'll know what I mean. Okay, and the look of the doll, I know that gets a lot of criticism too, but it's somehow better in the movie. It's weird, when I watched it in the trailers, I was sort of disappointed with the new look. But watching the movie, it worked. I didn't find myself thinking it looked bad. It was the opposite. I thought it looked pretty good. Different, yes, but good. And the song... Oh man, that My Buddy song. It'll get stuck in your head. So, what else can I say aside from spoilers? I really recommend this movie. I know a lot of people have low expectations, but maybe that's a good thing. Because when you watch it, you will probably be pleasantly surprised. Just remember, this remake takes place in its own universe. It does not affect the original franchise. It's okay to enjoy both. It's also worth noting that my wife and son, who are also huge horror fans, enjoyed it as well. My son specifically said it was a lot better than he expected it to be. We discussed it after it ended, and he was saying he couldn't understand why he had read so many mixed reviews. Personally, I don't either. We watch horror movies to be entertained, and Child's Play 2019 was highly entertaining. I'd call that a success. But hey, what do I know? I'm the horror man, and this was only my review. Have you guys seen Child's Play 2019 yet? If so, what do you think of it? What did you like about it? What didn't you like? Comment below and let me know. And, as always, be kind, subscribe.